What is up party people? We are back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the vasovagal response. If you have this in response to attending a surgery, so if you're a medical student or just a high school or a college student and you attend a surgery and you have a fainting response. So first we're going to talk about what it is. Next we're going to talk about what it means. Finally, we're going to talk about if you can get over that and become somebody who works in a surgical field. The vasovagal response is what a lot of people refer to as fainting. So the vagus nerve is one of the cranial nerves that sort of goes throughout your body. It controls a lot of autonomic functions. So the autonomic functions are things like the blood vessels when they open and close, sort of in response to different things, the small bowel and the stomach, how they contract, move things along, stuff like that. In this case, the vasovagal response is a discharge of the vagal nerve. What that does is open your blood vessels. And when you open your blood vessels, you have like this abrupt decrease in blood pressure all of a sudden, a lack of blood flow to your head for a brief moment. What happens is a lot of people will sort of black out, faint and fall. And I've seen this a few times in the OR. Typically, it's somebody that has not been in the OR before is seeing maybe a lot of blood or just the insides of a human, which they haven't seen before. So it's a little bit weird to get used to. I didn't have a vasovagal response, but when I first started operating, it was quite strange to see the insides of somebody. And I didn't love to see like the rest of the body if we drape off of little portion to make a little incision that was much more tolerable to me and then it took a few years for me to be able to make an incision on somebody without like the rest of the body being draped off and understanding like where everything is most of the time when you go into the OR the nurse will say hey if you're new just be cognizant of the fact that if you feel lightheaded please step back from the patient because what happens is you can fall and you fall face forward into the operating field and then you contaminate everything right so we tell people if you start to get lightheaded just sit down some people get really hot actually one of my friends he's like this super tough cowboy and he wanted to see one of the surgeries i was doing so he came in i made a decision he's like it's really hot in here i'm, I'm sweating really bad i was like man I, I think maybe you should just sit down for a second you know like, I don't, is it this gown i don't know what's going on why am i sweating like no no, no. it's like there's a big response and he's a guy that for a living would like gut animals after they were hunting so it doesn't really mean anything about you it may just be a very new thing to you. Lastly, I want to talk about can you get over that? One of my good friends in medical school, she wanted to be a general surgeon, a trauma surgeon. We were medical students. It was like our third year. We're like going to go in the OR. We're all excited because we both want to go into surgery. She comes back and is like, I don't think I can do surgery. I passed out. I was like, oh, <laughs> Maybe you can't. I'll have to say, she went on to be a trauma surgeon. If this happens to you, that does not mean that you can't go into a surgical field. I just be careful the next time. And if you feel faint, I would look away, try to think of something else, and sort of ease yourself into it. That will help you then to get to a level where it doesn't bother you at all anymore. So don't be discouraged if this is you. It happens sometimes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.